Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our 10th lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So we are looking at our 10th example, which reads that a carpenter has a 3 meter long piece of timber that he wishes to cut into 7 equal pieces. He approximates 3 over 7 meters to 0 0.42 meters. Calculate the percentage error in this approximation. So we'll start by getting uh, the error that was uh, committed. So the error, the error that was committed in the measurement will be the actual measurement was supposed to be three over seven uh, meters. Then of course the approximate uh, length was zero point uh, four two meters. So to get the error that was committed, we'll take three over seven meters minus zero point uh, four two meters. If you fit this on the calculator, three over seven minus zero point four two. Uh, you're going to get uh, 3 over 350 meters. So this is the error that was committed. Now, for us to get the percentage error, the percentage error uh, in the measurement or in this particular length uh, will be given by, so we'll take the error in the length, the error in the length, then we divide with the actual length, divided by the actual uh, length or the true length, then of course we multiply with 100%. So this, this should give us the uh, percentage error uh, in the length. So this will be equal to, so the error that was committed in the measurement of the length was 3 over 350. So this is 3 over 350 meters, then divided by the actual length. The actual length was supposed to be 3 over 7 meters. Remember 3 over 7 was the actual length, then 0 0.42 was the approximated value. So the actual length was to be 3 over 7 uh, meters. Then of course we multiply this with 100% so that we get the percentage error committed uh, within that particular uh, measurement of the length. So for us to get the percentage error, so the percentage error uh, percentage error in the length, in the measurement of the length, uh, will be given by. So if I take uh, 3 over 350, then of course divided by uh, 3 over 7, uh, this one is going to give me uh, 0 0.02. So this is what we call the relative uh, error in the measurement of the length. Then of course if you multiply with 100%, now this gives you the percentage error. So in short, relative error multiplied by 100% gives you the percentage error in the measurement. So 0 0.02 multiplied by 100%, this will give us 2% as the error that was committed in the measurement. So next we look at the example number 11, which reads that calculate the percentage error when 2.77 um, is truncated to are three significant figures. Remember the three dots uh, simply signifies that uh, the 2.77 is actually a non-terminating decimal or what we call a recurring decimal. Now to get the actual value, uh, we'll first of all convert the recurring decimal uh, into a fraction so that we get the true value. Now to achieve that, we'll start by saying let, we will let uh, the R uh, to be equal to the fraction to be r to be equivalent to 2.777 uh, seven, seven. of course it is recurring meaning that the number of sevens are not uh, terminating then of course if i multiply uh, this first equation by 10 this will be 10 r is equals to so the 10 is going to shift the decimal uh, from between 2.7 to uh, between 7 and 7 so this will give us 27 Point seven seven seven. Of course, it is uh, recurring. So the number of uh, sevens after the decimal point uh, do not matter. Therefore, to get the value of r, I'm going to subtract. Uh, subtracting, subtracting equation one from two. Subtracting equation one from equation two. Uh, we're gonna get the following. So equation two was ten r is equals to twenty seven. Uh, 0.777 of course recurring then of course equation one was r is equals to uh, 2.777 recurring 
So if I subtract uh, the two equations, I'm supposed to get the value of uh, r. So 10r um, minus r, of course, I'm going to get uh, 9r being equal to 27.777 uh, minus 2.777. Of course, this will give me 0, 0, 0, uh, then point. 27 minus 2, I'm going to get uh, 25. So it simply means that uh, 9r is equivalent to uh, 25. If I divide through by 9, I also divide through by 9. I'm going to get my value of r uh, being equal to 25, uh, then of course over 9. So remember r is representing the actual uh, fraction or the true fraction. If I convert this into a mixed uh, fraction, I'm going to get two whole number. Uh, 7 over 9, 2 whole number 7 over 9. Now, so this is the actual uh, the actual value that is in terms of uh, fraction. Now, we can also get the truncated value because we are told that um, this particular measurement was truncated. We are told that uh, calculate the percentage error when 2.777 is truncated to 3 significant figures. So if I truncate a uh, 2.777 to three significant figures, uh, to three significant figures, remember truncating simply means you cut off uh, the unrequired numbers. So this is the first significant figure, the second significant figure, the third significant figure. So I'm going to truncate. So it means that uh, the other values that come after the three significant figure do not matter. So this one, we cut them off. So that, that is what we mean by truncating. So we'll only focus on uh, the 2.77. So when we truncate uh, to three significant figures, we are going to get 2.77. Uh, so that is what we mean by uh, truncating. So this is the approximate value. Then, of course, this is the actual uh, value. Now, for us to get the error, that was committed to get the error that was committed we are going to take the actual value or the actual uh, measurement uh the actual value then of course we subtract with the approximate value so the approximate value uh in this case is the truncated uh value so this will be equal to the actual value supposed to be 25 uh over 9 so this was the actual uh, fraction 25 over 9 then the approximate or the truncated value is 2.77. So the difference should give us the error that was uh, committed. So 25 over 9 minus 2.77, this will give us 7 uh, over, so this will be 7 over 900. So this is the error that was committed. Now to get the percentage error, so the percentage error uh, committed should be given by so we are supposed to take the error that was committed divided by the actual value, the actual uh, value or the non-approximated value, then multiplied by 100%. So this will be equal to the error committed was 7 over 900, then divided by the actual value was uh, 25 over 9. So divided by 25 over 9, then of course multiplied by 100%. So this should give us the uh, error that was committed in this particular approximation. Now, if we compute this, uh, we are going to have the following. So if you take this particular value here, this one should give you the relative error uh, in the approximation. So you take 7 over 900 divided by 25 over 9. You feed that on the calculator, you're going to get uh, 0. Uh, 0, 0. To eight, so this is what we call the relative error. Then, of course, the moment you multiply with a hundred percent, it changes to the percentage error. So this will give us um, zero point. So this will be zero point two eight percent. So this is the percentage error that was committed due to the truncation to three significant figures. Then we look at example twelve, uh, which reads that. Uh, the mass of a metal is given as 14 kg to the nearest uh, 10 grams. So that means that the least value that can be written or that can be taken is 10 grams. So find the percentage error in this particular measurement. So we're going to start by getting the absolute error. Absolute uh, error. 
the absolute error in the mass absolute error in the mass it will be given by so we'll take a half multiplied by uh, the least unit that can be measured uh, so the least unit uh, the least unit that can be measured so it was to the nearest 10 grams so our least unit is the 10 uh, grams so multiplied by 10 grams now because the mass is given in kg we'll be forced to convert the uh, grams into kg so that it uh, rhymes with our a given mass so this will be a half uh, multiplied by a uh, 10 grams into kg so this will be 10 grams divided by a thousand uh, grams then of course multiplied by a uh, 1 kg so this will give us a half multiplied by 10 uh, divided by a thousand this will give us a uh, 0 point a uh, 0 1 kg so a half of 0 point 0 1 kg of course this will give us 0 point uh, zero, zero, uh, 0.005 kg so this is the absolute error in the mass so we can get the limits within which our mass is going to exist so the actual mass was uh, 14 uh, kg so the maximum possible mass will be 14 plus the absolute error so 14 plus 0 0.005 of course this will give us 14.005 uh, kg then the least possible mass will be 14 minus 0 0.005 uh, kg of course this will give us a 13 13.995 as the least possible uh, mass now from there we are going to get the absolute error in the mass so the absolute error absolute error in the mass absolute error in the mass will be given by so to get the absolute error in the mass we'll take a half of the maximum possible mass so the maximum mass maximum a uh, possible mass then of course minus the minimum uh the minimum a uh, possible mass so this should give us the absolute error in the mass that was uh being measured so of course this will uh give us the following so if i substitute i'll get a half of uh into the maximum possible mass was uh, 14 uh, point zero zero five. Uh, so this is 14.005 then minus the minimum possible mass was uh, 13 point uh, so this was 13.995 uh, so this will give me a half of of course if you take 14.005 minus 13.995 you're gonna get 0 0.01 0 0.01 so if i take a half of uh, 0 0.01 this will give me 0 0.005 so this is the absolute error in the mass of course this one is in uh, kilograms so to get the percentage error in the mass so percentage error percentage error in the mass percentage error in the mass will be given by the absolute error absolute uh, error in the mass absolute error in the mass then of course divided by the actual uh, mass divided by the actual mass then we are going to multiply this by a hundred percent so if i substitute uh, the values in my formula so the absolute error in the mass was actually 0 0.005 so this is 0 0.005 kg then divided by the actual mass was uh, 14 kg so divided by 14 uh, kg then of course multiplied by a hundred percent so this will give me 0 0.005 divided by 14 this will give me 1 over uh, 28 uh, hundred so of course the kilograms will cancel out uh, so multiplied by a hundred percent so this is gonna give me 1 over 28 percent so this will be one over 28 percent so the percentage error uh the percentage error uh committed was one over 28 percent because the two zeros are, are gonna cancel out now if i approximate this uh correct to four significant figures this will be 0 0.035 so this one is correct to four significant uh, figures. 
Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.